tech engineers in this video i'm going to teach you how to become a cloud security architect and i'm going to give you a step-by-step -step approach of how you can achieve mastery in cloud security architecture let's get started and let's get started now one of the most common questions that i get asked by a lot of people on twitter or linkedin is how can i become a cloud security architect and more importantly how can i become a cloud security architect that is agnostic somebody who can be a cloud security architect across different types of cloud environments now this is a very common requirement for a lot of people because they might be in consulting or they may be dealing with a multi-cloud environment of their own where they have to provide some kind of architecture review solutions or they might have to create architectures across cloud environments for AWS, Azure, GCP, or what have you. Now, I'm going to go over a step-by-step -step approach of how you can achieve mastery of cloud security architecture and how you can become a cloud security architecture. Let me start off by saying this, right? With cloud security architecture, one of the things that a lot of people assume is that you need a certification or something like that to get started. I'm here to tell you that you don't. I am not certified in any cloud security architecture specific courses or anything like that or any kind of certification. I have worked on the cloud for a very long time. I've implemented solutions on the cloud for a very long time. And I've also been in security for a long enough time. I've done a lot of practical work as a result of which I think I have done a pretty good job and I continue to do a pretty good job as a cloud security architect. So I have built out applications that are deployed in multiple environments used by hundreds of thousands of people all over the world on the cloud i've developed it i've deployed it i have been part of the architecting angle of these applications so i think in that perspective i've been able to do a lot of stuff with cloud security architecture that said of course certifications help any kind of formal or informal education and training definitely helps in making you a better cloud security professional but without further ado let's get started with the steps that help you become a great cloud security architect. Let's start with step one of how to become a better cloud security architect or a cloud security architect in itself. Now, the biggest question, like I said, I get asked is how do I become a cloud security architect who is agnostic of multiple clouds? Now, let's address the first part of that question and the second part of that question in the same step. Now, one of the things that you need to understand when you want to become a good cloud security architect or a good security architect in any sense is to know that particular environment well, which means that let's say you want to become a good cloud security architect and your organization is largely working on AWS. It makes sense for you to achieve competence in the operational aspects of AWS itself or the AWS cloud itself. Now, which means that you need to understand cloud and then cloud security and then become a cloud security architect. You cannot just jump your way and become a cloud security architect without being competent in the first two, three things. So in this case, what you will need to do is basically achieve a good enough degree of competence. Now, I'm not saying you need to be an amazing cloud or cloud security professional, but you need to have a good enough degree of competence in being able to understand the operational aspects of the cloud and hopefully not only understand, but also be able to implement the operational aspects of the cloud. Now, what does implement and understand essentially mean? And what does operational aspects of the cloud mean? Basically, I mean, take up a few areas of the cloud or certain areas of the cloud and understand how they work extensively well. For instance, IAM is probably going to be one of the most important aspects of the cloud you want to be able to understand, which is basically identity and access management. Literally everything in security from the cloud stems from IAM. So if you're able to understand IAM and implement IAM well and understand it really well for a cloud environment, then that's great because you should be able to translate that into other environments and so on and so forth. So for instance, just to give you an example, I initially started off becoming much more competent in the AWS cloud world. And then I started learning Azure and GCP. And I realized that it was much faster for me to learn the other two cloud environments because now I knew AWS really well. I knew AWS IAM concepts really well. So that knowledge kind of translates into other clouds. So don't worry about that. So IAM would be the thing you want to learn. Outside of that, obviously, understanding a good degree of understanding of compute environments. Let's say you want to deploy servers or some kind of serverless environments or containerized environments or Kubernetes environments. You want to get some kind of understanding and implementation expertise in that. 
outside of that understanding things like encryption monitoring and all of those areas in the cloud also makes a big difference so the idea here is before you become a cloud security architect first master or get good enough mastery on the cloud then apply security to it and then apply the architecture part of it don't try and jump steps to become a cloud security architect if you are not already familiar or super familiar with a particular cloud and also remember that cloud skills are translatable so your skills on google cloud can translate to skills on aws because you'll be able to learn aws much faster if you are really good or if you are really competent in google cloud so how do you identify which cloud provider to go after to become competent in the first place I would suggest you look at things that your organization is already working on or if something if your organization is not working on the cloud maybe pick up some of the most commonly used cloud services and try and get competent with that so that is something that you can do it really depends on how you want to approach which cloud you want to use and so on but the idea is that become competent in one cloud provider type and then you will see that your skills translate to another cloud as well now once you start achieving competence in the cloud and once you start actually learning how to implement things in the cloud you have started your journey towards becoming a cloud security architect the next thing you want to do is look at examples you can't see things that you don't have or you can't really visualize things that you can't see and can't learn and can't figure out so one of the things that a lot of the cloud providers have done have provided something called reference architectures now aws has something called the well architected framework azure has a whole bunch of reference architectures in fact i'm going to put them in the links below in the show notes below and you will see that studying these architectures are very very useful in fact all of these architectures have been designed for different types of industries different types of companies different types of application environments and so on so it's great to see and actually go through some of these architectures because they give you a clear visualization of what is happening in that particular as to how you can potentially deploy things in that particular environment let's say for example that you are a healthcare institution and you want to understand how you can deploy by AWS or Azure or GCP in that environment chances are there is a reference architecture for something like that so it becomes much easier for you to understand things when there is a reference architecture provided it's basically like looking at a demo home before you actually buy a home because in the demo home you can actually visualize things that are happening you're able to understand that this is oh this is how the tv is supposed to go this is where the bed is supposed to go and this is what the bed should potentially look like the same kind of thing has been provided with these well architected frameworks and reference architectures that can be invaluable in your journey in becoming a cloud security architect so definitely take a look at these well architected or reference architectures from all major cloud providers in your journey as step 2 to becoming a competent cloud security architect now what you will see so far is that you have now achieved competence in terms of being a good in competent cloud professional you've understood the well architected frameworks you looked at the reference architectures and you probably understand cloud architecture and you started to understand cloud security architecture one of the other things that you should be doing at this point is to start practicing against these reference architectures and well architected environments so take these reference architectures and start breaking them down through a security architecture review process you're going to see a diagram of what i use for a security architecture review process come up on your screen right now now this diagram is something that you can use to start breaking down your security architecture review so take any architecture and break it down through these steps and start practicing and practicing and practicing and you will get better and better and better and over this time you will start to become a real formidable cloud security architect again just like anything else there are no shortcuts you have to put in the time practice 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 against different types of architectures and then you will see that your capabilities as a cloud security architect have become really good and not only can you do it for one cloud environment but you can also extend those capabilities by a basic understanding of other cloud environments so let's say you've been doing all of this stuff in aws tomorrow somebody gives you an azure environment it's not a big deal because you just have to learn those basic components and you still have the building blocks that you've got from your previous education or your previous learning with aws and you can still very quickly ramp up as an agnostic cloud security architect across all different cloud environments so i hope this has been useful i hope you found this video useful if you do like this sort of content please give us a like 
and I'm going to see you in another video. Thank you so much.